Hi, welcome to my channel and thank you for clicking on my video. I was in the shower the other day and this idea for a sticker just popped in my head of a sloth painting and then it would say perfectly imperfect. I just thought it was so cute and quirky and I haven't been able to get it out of my head so that's what I'm going to be drawing today. I've been thinking a lot lately about the idea of creativity and coming up with ideas. What really blows my mind is when you come up with an idea and it just pops in your head, like where did it come from? I mean, what even is an idea? Like, is it energy? I know that energy can't be destroyed or created so if this idea or just little entity of energy popped in your mind and it wasn't there before then where did it come from some creatives think that when they're creating whatever they do whether it's music art um that they're not really the ones creating it but they're just channeling ideas through either god or like the collective conscious or whatever they believe in i was listening to an interview um with the author of the alchemist i forget his name right now it starts with a p but anyway he was saying that he didn't really write the alchemist he was just the tool in which the universe used to create this book and that was just so fascinating to me because we tend to label some people as super creative and i know a lot of people say about themselves that they have no creativity but if this is true then that means anyone can learn to listen to god and the universe and channel these messages in their own way. I believe that everyone is born with a gift, or more than one, and if we can learn how to use our gift cohesively with the intelligence of the universe, that's when we can create amazing things. And I'm not saying that <laughs> my little doodle of a sloth is amazing and I'm channeling God's messages through this, but it's just I'm exercising my creativity, you know? I'm exercising the ability to recognize an idea and create something out of it because before I started this drawing, it was an idea and it didn't exist in the world and now it does, which I think is amazing. You guys didn't know that you were in for this deep conversation when you clicked on this video. Surprise! But I'm just feeling very deep and introspective lately and I need to get that out. And it's <laughs> kind of weird to just start talking about this stuff in your daily life. So here I am just doing it in my YouTube video. The whole idea of this drawing is I kind of realized lately <laughs> that I'm lazy. And I hate that word, lazy. It sounds so negative. But somebody called me lazy recently, and it really triggered me. I, I got so upset, and because my whole life, I've just been like not very driven and I don't enjoy like the grind and stuff and I always saw that as like my biggest fault and because just the way our society is set up you know you have due dates and you have things to get done and everything is so fast that I was just kind of conditioned to think that the way I naturally was was bad but I think it's important that some people are the ones to slow down and think about things and create art and 
you know, that's how our society functions is that we're all different and we all have strengths to offer the world. Lately, I've just been trying to radically accept myself and love myself for who I am and not be mad that I'm not some other way or how some people might want me to be. Because in the end, we all have flaws, and I'm using air quotes, you can't see me, but we all have things that we think make us bad, but I believe that we're all perfectly imperfect, and we just need to be more compassionate with ourselves and accept the fact that this is how we were made, and this is how God wanted us to be, and we can nourish our strengths, and we can be kind to our flaws, and just know that you're not supposed to, like, be perfect like you're not supposed to be this robot that is like perfect you know and when we learn to be compassionate with ourselves and love ourselves unconditionally not in spite of our flaws but for our flaws and for our strengths it makes us more compassionate to others And it just makes this world a better place to live if we just accept things the way they are, we love them the way we are, and we just appreciate life. So that's my spiel on (laughs) creativity and self-love. Thanks for getting deep with me. Thanks for hanging out and drawing with me. I'm going to take this into Procreate now and add some color. And I'm also going to fix the text because it's like a little off. So I'm doing that. And I'm going to put this sticker on my Redbubble if you would like to purchase it. My username is just my name. It's Kat Hallinan. I'll put that in the description. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Here it is as a sticker. I love it. And you can also get this design on a variety of products that Redbubble has to offer. I'm just showing a few, but there are so many options. If you liked this video, I would really appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I post. Thank you again for watching. I hope you have a nice day.